Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is Alcoin Disrupt. Today we've got some important things to have a look at within the Solana ecosystem and we have to discuss the recent degraded performance in the past few days within the Solana ecosystem. This actually includes sluggish and failing transactions. And in additional news, Solana Lab CEO and co-founder Anatoly Yokovenko acknowledge growing pains as increasingly complex transactions affect the network. Now, before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. It's strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, while the Solana network hasn't experienced a full outage since September extended downtime, it hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for the last few months for the Ryzen Layer 1 blockchain. Following recent network performance issues, Solana Lab CEO has detailed the platform's growing pain as it scaled to meet demands. The late last week within the weekend, Solana users took to social media and Discord to complain of frequent issues. Transactions on a network were getting stalled, often taking considerably longer than normal to complete or outright fail in as the network struggles to maintain its typical throughput levels measured in the transaction per second. Now here's where it gets considerably interesting. In a statement shared with Decrypt recently, Yakovenko wrote that the mark has reached a recent average of 800 TPS, down from its typical 3000 TPS. For context, Ethereum and the leading smart chain blockchain network can handle roughly 15 transactions per second on average. So with about a quarter of transaction throughput on Solana, users attempt to send in and receiving funds, interact with DeFi tools, peer-to-peer -to -peer lending and trading applications, and buy and sell NFTs had major issues. This is probably because of the recent performance issues that Solana blockchain has been experiencing. In fact, what's interesting is that within the last one month, Solana has fallen from above $200 to less than $100 at where it is right now. In fact, at one stage, it was as low as $82.50. Now, here are some really interesting tweets that we got recently. And I think these tweets, they explain a lot about what's going on within the blockchain. Making a big deal out of Solana going down for the first couple of times was FUD. But Solana going down regularly is concerning. And I can honestly agree with that statement. It is genuinely concerning if it does go down regularly. But the CEO of Solana Labs, Yokovenko, has actually commented on this. He sent out his own tweet, basically saying that every time the load 10x is, there are new challenges. One solution is not to let the load 10x by constraining supply, but that it's short-sighted. The stage we're at in crypto is that there may be 5 million humans that sign TXS on a monthly basis. Got to get that to 50 million and 500 million ASAP. Now, it was also stated that developers have made lots of progress on improving network performances, but the work is ongoing. The CEO also added that the last 24 hours have shown this system needs to be improved to meet the demand of users and to support more complex transactions now come on on the network. So in a way, that's the plan for Solana. That is the solution that they're looking forward to is to basically help developers improve the system overall. They understand that because Solana is a huge blockchain, there'll always be growing pressure and growing demand and new challenges to face. So something like this will happen more often. So something like this will happen more often if Solana keeps on growing at the insane rate it's currently growing at. Now what Solana Lab CEO is basically saying is that they wanna focus on handling this huge amount of growth. But overall, this is cryptocurrency. The technology is still new. The blockchain technology is still new. We're still exploring what's possible with crypto. And you have to admit, what Solano has accomplished within the last couple of years, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm not surprised that they're having issues with their network. I expected that. There will always be issues. There will always be consequences. There will always be challenges. The thing about the world is that people instantly freak out because sometimes they don't understand that these things are more complex than they might seem. So with that being said, we simply have to give Solana and other blockchain patience. 
we have to be patient with them because this technology is so new to the entire world and we're still understanding it. Now in other news, introducing the Solana Hacker House inaugural world tour. Solana builders are hitting the road and you're invited. Come and join the brightest minds of Solana Labs and the developers in your own community for the official Solana Hacker House world tour, a series of six weeks long hacker house around the globe. Each hacker house will give you build each hacker house will give you builders a place to work, find collaborators, and learn from some of the great things in the Solana ecosystem. They're basically saying you'll have all the essentials, good Wi-Fi, food, power, and of course, swag. I don't know why they added that part. But if you're interested in joining the Solana Hacker House, you must be a developer and register ahead of time. Each house has a limited capacity, so submit your application early. And these are some of the locations, Los Angeles, California, Seattle, Washington, Singapore, Moscow, Russia, Hong Kong. So that's just some additional brief news within the Solana ecosystem that I think it's important. Now, additionally, Solana NFT layer Metaplex raised 46 million. The project is ramping up operations after a successful 2021 debut. This is good. Now, Metaplex are companies that allow users to build their own Solana-based non-fungible tokens. Marketplaces have raised a 46 million funding led by Multicoin Capital and Jump Crypto, the company announced Tuesday. Metaplex say it will use the funding to scale its operation and to provide grants to support creators from underrepresented communities. While the volume of Solana's NFT marketplace remains a good way behind its Ethereum counterpart, it's a total market capitalization recently passed 1 billion according to data. The company says its protocol has been used to create over 85,000 projects and 5.7 million NFTs since it launched last June according to a recent press release. And I quote, we believe that the metaverse will be open, censorship, resistance and global accessible. This was said by the director of Metaplex Foundation, Sergi. Metaplex will serve as a common protocol in NFT standards to empower the next wave of decentralized commerce. The company shook up its corporate roster in September with the hiring of new CEO along with a slur of new board members. Additionally, important news, Solana could become the visa of digital assets, world of bank. It's interesting that we've gone onto this subject considering that Solana is experiencing blockchain issues. It's experiencing performance issues. And by the way, Solana is the same ecosystem that said it could complete up to 40 or 50,000 transactions per second. So the Solana blockchain could become the visa of digital asset ecosystem as it focuses on scalability, low transaction fees of ease of use, Bank of America to all clients and research notes after hosting Solana Foundation member Lily Liu. Solana has experienced strong adoption since launching in 2020. It settled over 50 billion transactions. Visa and the global market giant process 164.7 billion transaction has more than 11 billion in total value locked and, is, and has been used to mint more than 5.7 million non-fungible tokens. Solana prioritized scalability, but a relatively less decentralized and secure blockchain has trade-offs. Illustrated by several network performance issues since inception, Ethereum prioritized decentralization and security, which has led to periods of network congestions and transaction fees that are occasionally larger than the value of the transaction being sent. Now, like I said before, Solana's actually fallen to around 82 US dollars at the lowest it's ever been. This is within the past few months, but the question is like, how far could Solana actually fall? Could it actually go even lower? Let's take into consideration that the last time we've seen these low prices from Solana was actually towards the end of August last year, 2021. Will Solana perhaps go back to $60, $50? It's a long shot. I think if the market continues to crash, I don't even think we'll see Solana hit below 40 US dollars because then it will just be insanely cheap. If that does happen, I can guarantee you it's not going to stay that low for a very long time because then it will just be extremely undervalued. It's undervalued as we speak. Let's not forget, only on the 6th of November last year, Solana was 258 US dollars. That's a long way from where it is right now, but the thing that you have to remember is that the higher you climb, is the taller the mountain usually gets. Because expectations are changing, expectations are growing. 
I'm still excited to see what Solana will create within 2022 and where they'll finish towards the end of the year. Will Solana hit $300, 350 I still think Solana is heavily undervalued. I think Solana should be at least around 350 to 400 US dollars. But I guess sometimes you have to wait a while before people can actually see that. That's still my expectations for Solana towards this year. That would mean that the market cap will essentially 3x from where it is right now. More than 3x actually. But I think you get the point. That does sound incredible. That sounds like Solana could be over 95 billion with the market cap. Which would put Solana above that. It would put Solana top three in the world. Everything within the crypto market will continue to change as Solana goes back up in price. Now I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you in my next video.